Welcome back, Max Freed. What's up, everybody? Braves Today. Go to bravestoday.com for all of the latest on what's going on as far as the Braves are concerned. However, Braves, Cubs, game one, only two hours and nine minutes. And it's because of the guy that the Braves had on the hill that was absolutely dealing. Max Freed has not played since early May. Sidelined by hamstring, sidelined by forearm. You know what he wasn't sidelined by today? Hitters from the Cubs. His first pitch delivered was up and in at 93. The very first ball he threw. did It was a ball, but still. Threw around 70 pitches last time out in rehab. We'll get to that in a minute. Stayed right around there this time as well. A fly out to right to get his first out. Strikes out Dansby Swanson at 97 on the black. Looking in the first. Three up, three down in the first. Great start. So what a day. As he struck out the side in the third. Got Dansby again. As I said, already got him once, got him twice, got him once looking, and then got him again swinging. Went six six innings, nine Ks, gave up only three hits, all of which were singles, throughout six shutout innings. He just looked comfortable. He never looked like he did not feel good out on the mound. He seemed to be in sync with Sean Murphy, which is a little different because – Last time he pitched, I said, was in May. They just got started a little bit before then with pitchers and catchers in February. So it's not like he had a whole lot of time with Sean. And plus, he's been spending more time in the minors than he has with the team in general. So I was really shocked at that, but he looks super comfortable. Freed faced the minimum 15 batters through five, only on 59 pitches, had seven Ks. And prior to that, he retired the first 12 he faced before he finally gave up a hit to see that only backed up with a double play by Arcia in order to get him out of the inning. Threw 72 pitches, 49 of which were strikes. So as I said, he stayed right around that 70 mark as he did his last start out in AAA. And even before that, even though it only threw 40 in AAA, they sent him down to the bullpen and he threw about 30 more. Lindsay and I have talked about that from time to time on some of the previous pods. Hugely successful down and in and low and away, on righties at least. Uh, highest exit velocity down and in or low and away was right around 75 miles per hour. So he didn't get in trouble. He only gave up three hits. But what cost him those three hits? Exit velos on those, 90-plus in the center of the plate, and then 105 on up and in on one of the lefties. Now, he improves to 3-1, and one, and he showed no signs of fatigue, which is really promising when you take a look at the offense that backs him while he's on the bump. Offensive numbers coming at you shortly. But first, I got to talk about our sponsor, Ford Stokes, founder and president of Active Wealth, host of the Active Wealth Show on AM 920 The Answer, author of a must-read book, Annuity 360, and a special offer for you. Wants each and every Braves fan to have a chance to get the book, Annuity 360, for free. Imagine getting a copy of a valuable resource without spending a dime. All you got to do is go to annuity 360.net. That's annuity360.net, providing your contact information. Ford's going to send you a complimentary copy. It's a fantastic opportunity to learn how to better protect and grow your hard-earned wealth. Ford and his team at Active Wealth specialize in assisting pre-retirees and retirees that are ready to invest. They've got the knowledge and expertise to guide you towards making sound financial decisions. By the way, Ford's registered investment advisor, Brookstone Capital Management, manages an impressive $8.5 billion, with a B, in assets. That's the kind of experience that you're going to want on your side. If you want to learn more about Active Wealth and the services they offer, go to activewealth.com. And if you miss any of Ford's Enlightening Financial Radio shows, don't worry, you can listen to those as well by going to activewealthshow.com. It's an incredible opportunity to gain valuable insights into managing your finances effectively. Let them know that all of us at Braves today sent you in that direction. All right, we got to get back to the Braves and see whatever they were doing as far as hitting. What a fourth inning. Goodness gracious alive, they own the Cubs. The Cubs were hot coming in as well. I mean, you're talking about a team that had won series. They were looking good. They pretty much had dominated over the last few times out. They didn't sweep Cincinnati, but they won three of four from Cincinnati. They actually won three of four from St. Louis. They swept Chicago. They won three of four from St. Louis before that. They won two of three from Washington before that. The last time they lost a series was right after the All-Star break, like the Braves, where it was back on July 14th. They only went one and two, and that was in Boston, who seemed to have everybody's number from the National League for some apparent reason. So the Braves, they bat for the cycle in the fourth, sent up 11 batters, eight hits, six of the eight for extra bases. Now, with that six extra bases in one inning, it's going to tie the record or did tie the record 
for six in an inning over the last 50 years. And the last time it was done was against the Twins back in 2002. Olsen with an RBI double. Murphy hops out of his slump, which we were hoping to do, and makes it 4 nothing with a two-run shot. Ozuna, big fly, solo shot, back-to-back. Acuna, three for five on the day, still deadly at the plate with a triple, making it 7 nothing. Second hit of the inning, by the way. Also, Acuna, which is kind of odd because you see eight runs on the board, he was the only Braves player to have more than one hit on the day. And then August Austin, he rubbed salt in the wound with a big fly to make it 8 to nothing. Hanging slider that did not slide and was absolutely launched. And not to be left out, the Grizzly vet, Travis Darno. I call him Grizzly because he celebrated 10 years of service in the majors, and that was something that less than 10% of players do throughout their career. They gifted him with a special chest protector that had 10 years on it, had a mural on it, and so I'm sure that will go in his trophy room at home. But R.C. is not the story. It was his birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, sir. Darno celebrating his 10 years as far as today was concerned and then never saw the field, but still he celebrated 10 years with rest, keep in mind. And then the rest of the story was all about Max Freed. Welcome back. Welcome to putting the rest of Major League Baseball on notice, including American and National League teams, if he is able to continue this sort of dominance against a team that was hot. In Chicago, as they were coming in, as I said, they didn't lose a series except that first series after the All-Star break against Boston. If he can continue that and keep that up throughout the rest of the season, expect to get right back as well. Soroka's going to be in and out as he is continuing to get better and get healthy and even throw harder. So it seems like the Braves are setting themselves up for a great Bullpen, starting pitching, everything else in between. And this is the guy that we all wanted to be successful. I was worried, got to be honest. Lindsay and I talked about that with all the AAA stars that they were giving him. I was like, something's not right. Either he's still sore, either he's not feeling something. But I think he was just trying to perfect everything. A little all over the place in the first inning, even though he went three up and three down. When he did miss, he missed way out of strike zone. Uh, Sean Murphy had two actually go to the backstop on the first batter. Uh, However, after that, he settled down. That's probably a little bit of adrenaline that went through him as well. Dansby, hate it for you, bud. I mean, that was one when you started talking trash about the Braves at the first part of the season before it ever began, I knew it was going to come back and get you. He may have a great series throughout the rest of the weekend. However, he did not today, and you can thank Mr. Freed for making that happen. The Braves look to continue three-day games as far as this series is concerned, and the Cubs just They made these promises, got into these contracts, one of those things where they promised communities around them they wouldn't play more than 30 night games, which is dumb on the weekends in my opinion. But at least we get to see some daytime baseball. It'll be at 1.20 Central Time, 2.20 Eastern Time on Saturday, same time on Sunday for Getaway Day as the Braves look to try to at least take the series tomorrow, if not sweep, on Sunday. Max Freed. Welcome back, sir. Well done. We are all so happy and look forward to what you hold for the rest of the season. Braves Today. Bravestoday.com is where you can find us. Find us on the Twitter as well, at Braves underscore today. I'm Ben Taylor for Braves Today.